Pretty sure we're live. <laughs> all right, you guys, thanks for joining me. So funny. Hope you all are doing well. All right, it is the 26th of March already. And I know we're supposed to be in spring. I know we're supposed to be. But I'm looking out the window, and what I hear in Fort Dodge doesn't sound like a whole lot of spring. It sounds like a whole lot of winter, winter storms. So please be careful, you guys, um, be up, out on the road. As always, make sure that before you even head out on the road, you're doing your pre-trip, but you're also making sure that you have all of the necessary supplies, like your extra water and um, some non-perishable items. Of course, blankets and hats and mittens and, well, maybe gloves. Gloves would probably be a good idea. Um, you know, that type of stuff. Just making sure that you're prepared and, and uh, ready for the road ahead, literally, right? All right. Happy Tuesday. Uh, for those of you who are new, this is a weekly Q&A, uh, a weekly opportunity for you to ask your questions and for us to answer them. So I'm here live. Of course, Katie is behind the scenes as well. She is um, in the chat. So if you have questions and you want them answered, which is what this is all about, then just go ahead and put your questions in the chat. And as I see them, I will not only read them out loud, but then I'll, I'll go ahead and answer it as well. So for anybody who's viewing that or listening who isn't viewing, uh, obviously we understand that. When you're out on the road, sometimes you guys are going to be streaming things to listen to. I get it. Um, eyes on the road, right? Okay, but if you have questions, that's what we're here for. If you're wondering about specific things like what we pay per mile, what we have available out of your area, Help me out by letting me know, first of all, where do you live? You know, what's your zip code? So give me your zip code and then let me know how much experience you have. Whether it be a year of experience, a couple of months of experience, maybe you have 15 plus years of experience. Let me know because our rate of pay per mile isn't going to be based on your experience level. Plus, we do have minimum pays that are also kind of interwoven in most of our, our pay options or our pay packages. But that is usually division specific, and that's where we're going to fill you in on, okay, we have this and this out of your area, how much experience you have, because this will be the rate of pay, but this is the minimum pay. And to explain that, the minimum pay is what I call the safety net. That's that, don't worry, you can at least budget off of this, right? You know you're going to make this, which is hard in the trucking industry because so many of you are used to pay per mile, period. Either you get the miles or you don't get the miles, where the minimum pay is non-relevant to the miles that you've driven for the week. It's, it's just there to, for you to, to budget and to know that you have money coming in for the efforts that you put in, whereas your pay per mile is a reflection of the miles that you run. So you're going to get the better of the two between them. Usually it's the, the miles that you ran, of course, and the rate of pay Per mile that you have um, based on your experience level but you have both just in case and when weather starts to make its way that's when that minimum pay is like really nice to have when things come out of your control right all right so if you have questions let me know i will dive deep into the minimum pay how that is paid out how that is figured and what it qualifies to get that because you do have qualifications of course very minimal um, they're basic. Actually, let me just tell you now. The qualifications for the minimum pay are be available for dispatch at least five days out of the week. All right, makes sense. No driver service failures, so no late loads. No CSA violations, no preventable accidents for the week. Now, this is week by week, you guys, because we pay every week. Every Friday, direct deposit, your paperwork has to be in by Tuesday, today, at midnight, to get paid Friday. Um... No load refusals, that's the other one. No load refusals and get your paperwork in on time. So I threw that in there, but it's still in there. <laughs> those are the six requirements, pretty simple. Um, we'll go through those a couple of times just to make sure that you guys understand it. 
But again, that's for the minimum pay. Your rate of pay per mile and the miles that you run are likely, most likely to exceed that in pretty much all of our divisions and you'll get the better of the two. All right. Um, where was I starting with that? Oh, the <laughs> making sure that your questions are answered, all right? Um, I do have a few things to share just as reminders and, and updates and questions that I've had along the way. One of the, hey, George, glad you made it. And you guys feel free to say hi. I love to make sure that, you know, it's nice to know that there's somebody else on the other side of this camera that I'm talking to. <laughs> um, so as, as for some of the available positions, we'll talk about those here shortly. Um, some of the questions that I've received recently on our live, one of them being the truck wash in Missoula. Okay, so here's, here's the deal. Our terminals have a lot of amenities in them, just like our trucks. Our trucks are loaded. I mean, they have tons of amenities, which is fantastic. We love that. But then there's always questions and troubleshooting, you know, when it comes to those type of things. That's where we're providing you information and maintenance tips, um, some troubleshooting tips and, and tricks and stuff like that. But as for the terminal amenities, Missoula also has a wash bay, just like Fort Dodge. And we have, we have somebody there to do, to wash the truck and, and trailer when you come in. Keep in mind, these, this is for Decker employees only. This is not, um, we don't have a open house for truck and trailer wash. You know, this isn't a public truck and trailer wash. This is a Decker only. Uh, so please keep that in mind. But if you're coming in and you're getting repairs on your truck, or maybe you're just getting an A or B service, then yeah, we'll try and get you into the wash bay as well, get you all cleaned up. We have pride in our trucks, and obviously our professional drivers have pride in their trucks, so we want to keep them clean. Whenever you come into a terminal, you have the opportunity to clean your truck. Like There's no restrictions on how many times you can wash your truck, whether it be daily or two, three times a week or whatever in one of the terminals. There's no restrictions on the terminals. However, out on the road, we will cover two washes per month during the winter months and one wash per month out on the road the rest of the time. So yeah, we definitely cover it out on the road. We usually use Blue Beacon. You want to call ahead, always call ahead to make those arrangements, not only for a truck wash, but also for a trailer wash out. But um, as for washing at the terminals, heck yeah, we, we got that open. Now, if, if there isn't somebody available to wash the truck and you're gonna use, you wanna use the wash bay, that's fine, you can totally use the wash bay. There are rules to using it. They are plastered on the wall or they're on the wall. Um, they're hung up there so that you know, you know, making sure that you're wearing the right gear, throwing the garbage away, just the normal to-dos. Whether you're in Ford Dodge or you're in Missoula, we have that listed for you. But yes, that is open for all of our professional drivers here at Decker to use without, without restrictions. I guess the restriction would be is if it's not available because it's being used by somebody else, but then you just have to wait until it is. Cool. All right. That was a question I got. Was it last week? I can't remember. Um, but I wanted to make sure that that was out there. Also, um, a heads up, we do have a blitz coming up in May. That's the normal blitz time. So you have that. That's We'll go into details on, on what the blitz will cover as well. Um, but that's just a, a reminder for you. Um, so speaking of reminders, I have a few. The... Easter is coming up, so I know a lot of you guys will be home. Um, some of you guys will be home. Others will be out on the road. That will possibly affect some of the delivery times um, for, for some of you while you're out on the road. Some of the customers will be open. Some of them won't. Some of them will, will um, have a holiday. So please be aware of that um, and plan accordingly. Make those calls ahead of time. Also, what else do we got going on here? We had, oh, we have uh, driver inspections. I mentioned the Blitz. So the Blitz is coming up. We pay an extra $50 for clean inspections while you're out on the road. So if you do get a clean inspection, make sure you get that paperwork in 
not only for the 50 bucks, make sure you get that paperwork in anyway, but we have uh, an extra $50 for the clean inspections. Last week we paid over $500. We paid $550 in driver bonuses alone for the, the clean inspections. So we had 11 violations. 11 violation free inspections. We don't pay for violations. Paid for it. <laughs> violation free. There we go. Um, but yes, the blitz that's coming up, be prepared no matter whether there's a blitz or not. Always make sure you're doing your pre trip. Always make sure that you're utilizing our maintenance. We have our maintenance support staff 24 7. Yes, definitely utilize them. But that um, blitz is coming up on the 14th and the 16th of May. And it'll be, the emphasis will be on the tractor protection system and, of course, alcohol controlled substance possession. So those are, just because that's the increase or the increase, the focus, excuse me, just because those are the focus does not mean that's the only thing they're looking at. I guarantee you they are looking over it all. That's just the main focus. Those, those are where um, the stats will be, like the, the statistics or the details um, that they're sharing will be more focused on those areas than they would be in the whole realm of things. Okay, so tractor protection system. Um, pump the brakes, uh, go back to the trailer and make sure that the parking brakes are applied, unhook the air hoses to the trailer and apply the brake system. Those are things that you're, you, that you're gonna have those tested. Um, make sure, of course, that your lights are working. Um, when you pump the brakes, the red valve uh, should pop open and it should be between PSI of between 20 and 45. So things to keep in mind. And you can, you're going to need to look at the, of course, the slack adjuster and the, the push rod and, and make sure that they are at a 90 degree angle or forming a 90 degree angle. All things to be aware of. If you are not sure how to do a proper pre-trip, and you are coming to orientation here at Decker, that's an opportunity for you to ask and speak to one of our, our trainers um, or one of those who are running orientation so that they can show you. Because you have every right to know and asking is okay. Please don't, don't not ask because you're uncomfortable or you're nervous. Sometimes you gotta push the boundaries of comfort, right? So that you can have your questions answered and then there's then you're reducing the uncertainty right so please ask and that leads me into a whole nother topic here at Decker we have an art program we call it art it's an ambassador program and it is it's very important to us to provide support to our professional drivers who are just coming aboard to Decker obviously it's important for us to provide support all the time to you but when it comes to transitioning from some another company or no experience and then coming to our orientation and then going out on your own, you're going to have a lot of questions. And we most definitely recognize that. That's an opportunity for you to get your questions answered. You'll have an ambassador assigned to you and that ambassador will call you on a regular basis reaching out, making sure that if you have questions, they're answered. It gives you an opportunity to ask the questions one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're not comfortable asking out loud, that's okay. We have, you have resources. You have your driver manager, right? But sometimes your driver manager may or may not be the one to, to ask um, about benefits. They might not know those type of things. That's okay. You'll have that ambassador to help you out. Now, some of our driver managers are ambassadors, so they can answer that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the person you want to speak to. You know, you might want to speak to somebody else about that, about that information. I don't know. Uh, you have that option. So we've got an ambassador there to help you for the, which for the first 60 days. And just because it's the first 60 days doesn't mean that you can't reach back out to them later on. Not at all. You can definitely keep that door open and reach out to them. You're going to have their direct line. So that's an important part. And you'll actually have the direct line to several people. Brad Beatty, and I think a lot of you have recognized when you're coming aboard to Decker, he reaches out, he texts you. 
and lets you know, you know, I'm here for you. If you have any questions, welcome to Decker, that type of thing. Um, I don't know exactly what he says, and I'm sure he says something different to all of you, but he opens up a, a line of communication so you know that he's there to, to support you along the way and, and help you out. Because, again, sometimes just questions arise. And it might have gone, you might have gone through it with the recruiter. But there's a lot of information, and we do our best to not only provide you the information and the documents, but, you know, doesn't mean that you missed, didn't miss it or, or we didn't miss um, speaking about it. So please, 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 please ask your questions. Do not hesitate. We do have a Facebook group as well that has been instrumental for a lot of our professional drivers. It is ran by our professional drivers and supported throughout there. So there's a couple of us in there like myself, um, hopefully there to help and answer questions um, when, especially when it comes to policies and stuff like that. Our policies and procedures, all of that is on our, um, you can go to Decker Truck Line and access all of those. So that's not a problem. Um, you'll be able to, to get any updates that way. But if you just have the question, Reach out. That's what we're here for. It is a great program. Yeah, George, I'm with you. Um, they do kind of feel alone sometimes. And I, I don't think it's even just new drivers that sometimes feel alone. It's being out on the road and just having that sense of aloneness. You know, you're, it doesn't mean you are alone. It doesn't mean that you don't have the support. But sometimes we still just feel that we don't have it, that we don't, we don't know who to go to. We, we, do, we just feel lonely. You know what's very cool about that program is not only do you have the support, and there's a number of people involved, um, upper management is heavily involved in that, but then we also have um, people like myself and um, some of the, the fleet managers. Um, you've got people in safety and and recruiting and so I mean you've, you've got people in all of our different departments available to you but the gentleman who is running that program Mr. Potter Thomas Potter was a driver for us before moving into this ambassador um, position so he is he's the one in charge of it and and keeping things running smoothly and, and implementing implementing suggestions that will help and making sure that we are there supporting our professional drivers when need be. And one comment that he made to me the other day, um, actually it was this morning when I was messaging back and forth, but one comment that he made to me is, you know, I've been there, I've been a driver, and sometimes you feel alone out there. Sometimes you feel like you don't, you don't know who to go to and you've got questions and you just hate to ask, you know, it, it's easier to ask one-on-one, -on -one, especially when someone reaches out to you and says, hey, you know, I'm here for you. This is, this, this, and this is the process today. Like, for instance, we have our monthly bonuses that are paying out this week, right? We have our scorecard and our safety bonus. It's very cool. It's super exciting to talk about, but being a new driver, you might not know what that's all about. So that opens up an opportunity. I'm giving you a call as an ambassador and I'm speaking to our, the professional driver and I'm saying, okay, um, you've been with Decker for a month. I'd like to visit with you a little bit about our scorecard and make sure that you have a good understanding of what that scorecard entails. And then we go through the different qualifications. Um, On-time delivery, claims, miles, fuel, fuel compliance, idle time, preventable accidents, CSA violations. Those are all criteria that are measured within that scorecard bonus. Perfect score is a thousand points. Anything 850 or above is gonna pay out either one, two, three, or four cents per mile on all the miles that you've completed that month. So we're gonna go through that. And that way we can look at what they ran last month, which could just be a partial month. It could be because they just started. It could be a full month. But it's an opportunity for us to review, reflect, and make adjustments, right? Always learning, watching the game tape type thing, you know? Like, I'm a basketball nerd. It is, it's March Madness. We all have to, like, get in the game, right? 
<laughs> All right, maybe not. But we're basically reviewing what we've done and working to improve it, as always. And we all can do that. That's why we open up the suggestions. Um, we have suggestions at deckermail.com. Don't be afraid to respond to that. Um, and then we also have the, the safety bonus that we have each month. That's another opportunity for us to speak to our professional drivers as an ambassador, reach out and say, okay, do you have any questions on the safety and how that's, how that works? And, uh, let's break that down to make sure that you have a good understanding. So again, you'll have the number to your ambassador. So maybe you have a question before they reach out to you during the week, call them, call them up. That's your opportunity to, to um, open up the channels of communication, right? All right, um, that's our ambassador program. Had a weird twing to that sound, sorry. Uh, that's our ambassador program. And where was I going with the, the next? There was another question I was gonna answer. Um, yeah, wait for it. Oh, we have Luma trainings that are out right now as well. Those Luma trainings, well, they're not out yet. They will be the 1st of April. April 1st, it's not a joke, it's legit. Make sure that you guys do your training. The people who complete the training within the first 24 hours, your name goes into a drawing for a chance to win prizes. So get those in. Always like prizes, whether it's what? Um, whether it's gift cards or whatever. I think it's gift cards is what it is. But also um, next week, we will have the drawing for the referral bonus as well. We have a referral program, which actually went up this, this year. So now we pay $2,000 for every driver that's who is referred and hires on $2,000. And um, that pays out within right 90 days. Is that right? I'll have to double check. It used to be. I got to remember. Short term memory, I guess. <laughs> Let me look. Um, da -da 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 -da. Referral. Hmm, it's like I didn't put the notes on here. Imagine that. That would be me. Okay, I'll get back to you on that, but I think it's, I think it pays out within 90 days, 180 days for sure. I thought I have that right in front of me. Okay, anyways, I'll get back to you on that one. But yeah, the referral bonus, it pays out per driver that who you referred is $2,000 each. It was $1,500 last year, and then it went up, went up in increments. Well, this year it's at $2,000, and it's $2,000 for, for all um professional drivers who are hired on. That said, each quarter we have a drawing for a chance to win a thousand dollars. So you'll have your name in the drawing if you referred somebody within the first quarter. So it's quarter by quarter opportunities. So if you referred two or three, your name's in there two or three times and then you have a better opportunity to win, right? Yes, that's on top of that. Plus we have the grand prize that's at the end of the year, so the top refer who, who has more than five people higher on within the calendar year will get uh, $2,500 as well. <laughs> yes, George, where are you? I was thinking you were in the Midwest. Am I wrong? So Missoula is one of our terminals, but our main terminal is in Fort Dodge, Iowa. Yeah, that's our main terminal. Why is this dinging like crazy? Is that all those notifications? Are you guys hearing that too? Because I have the notifications are supposed to be silent. Silent. Ohio. Okay, that's what I was thinking. It was somewhere in the Midwest, Ohio. Well, I consider that Midwest. Is that Midwest? <laughs> in your eyes? From somebody there. Is that considered Midwest? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, the... The quarterly training will be coming up on the 1st. You, ha you will have um, 30 days basically to complete that, but within the first 24 hours, if you complete it, then you're in for a drawing, a chance to win. 
Winner, winner. We love winning. Speaking of winning, how many of you guys were able to watch our driver award ceremony last Tuesday? It was awesome. It was so awesome. They did a fantastic job as always. And there were so many people who were receiving awards. We had, let me see if I can even get, we had million mile winners. We had our driver of the years, which was uh, Dustin Likens, Matt Nearling, Darren Ladley, Chad Hazelton, uh, Tony Vasquez, Vasquez uh, who else am I missing? Those are our drive. yeah, those, those were our five drivers of the, of the years. And then um, Million Miles, and then we had Tim Olden, who won, it was recognized for his multiple Highway Angel Awards, which by the way, so Tim Olden is one of our, um, he's one of our owner operators here at, at Decker. And he was, he received two Highway Angel Awards here within the last 12 months, which is pretty impressive. But what's even more impressive is that he received, when yesterday, after, you know, a week after that, basically, award ceremony, um, he came up upon another driver who had, had slid off the road, because the roads were nasty yesterday, who had slid off the road and he was able to help them until the, uh, the truck came, the tow truck came. So, you know, always looking. I think that's great when you have a big heart like that and you're always open to, to help. So anyways, so Tim Molden, we had so many million mile winners. One million, two million, three million. We had four million mile winners. I went, well, winner. Yeah, Jim Bean kind of held that one on his own. Um, Plus, we had Operation Awards, the Descartes and the Tysons Award. We had a United Way Award, which is uh, for more so the philanthropy of, of all of Decker, because th that's, a, that's an everybody thing. We've had so many people within the Decker family who have given, and uh, United Way was recognizing that as well. So there's quite a bit that was rewarded. So if you haven't seen the replay, watch the replay. It was so cool. Mm. But what that leads me into is the driver of the year awards basically has stepping stones. So if we, if the grand champion who is like the bee's knees, Darren Ladley, uh, won that this year. So Darren won that this year, but then you have the driver of the years. So these are our stepping stones, okay? Grand champion, driver of the year, Driver of the Month, in order to win Driver of the Month, which we will be announcing probably later this week, well, they, they're still being voted on, but the Driver of the Month comes basically from your scorecard and your safety, safety scores, along with other things, but that's the base of it, right? So as we back up, go down these levels, going down the stairs here, the foundation is your scorecard and your safety bonus. And this week, those paid out. So we have quite a few. We've actually, if you compare it to um, the last couple of months, the earnings for February, because all of these numbers are February's, right? Because we pay out the month following when you ran it. And all of those who earned a scorecard bonus, either one to four cents more per mile. As a company driver, we had over 200 company drivers earn scorecard bonus. By the way, we have about 650, 680 professional drivers here at Decker company side. And then owner operators lease purchase, we have around 100 owner operator lease purchase drivers. So that kind of gives you an idea of how many professional drivers we have here at Decker. Some are local, some are part-time, you know, it's, especially when you start to consider some of our, like our driver managers, we have a handful of driver managers who also will, will run, um, like on the weekends and stuff like that sometimes. Anyways, the company drivers, we had over 200 company drivers earn a bonus. They average right around $180 for the bonus. That's an average. Remember, we have obviously some up, some down. That's over $36,000 on the company side just for the scorecard. On the 
owner operator side, we had less than 60 drivers. We actually had 57 lease purchase owner operators who earned a bonus. They earned over $245 per lease purchase. And for lease purchase, you get up to three cents more per mile. So one, two, or three based off of your, um, your scorecard. The difference is with lease purchase, we don't factor in your fuel efficiency or your idle time. So there's a little bit difference there. But that was close to $14,000 just on the owner operator lease purchase site alone for the scorecard. So there was a lot of money that was paid out. And we had a lot of perfect scores. For the scorecard, we had Robert Anderson, Tyler Ash, David Bodel, Stephen Boucher, um, Teresa Cheek, Jared Dahlgren, Larry Dew, Lydia Dietrich, Lauren Durham, Christopher Eppins, Jeffrey Griffith, Leon Houston, John Jablonc, Darren Ladley, uh, let's see, Leonard Matthew III, Michael Mathis, Dennis McCubbin, Raymond McKinley, Thomas Melton, Jeremy Moritz, Greg Narciso, Tony Nelson, Todd Overson, Randy Pratt, Matthew Robinson, Diana Rosales, Rolando Rosales, Sanguin J, David Rulstead, John Sanders, Jeremy Schwark, um, Jason Sneed, Dean, so Dean Sosek, Timothy Tyree, Michael Vandehe, John Woods Jr. Those are all, those were perfect scores, meaning they were top of everything. They scored perfectly on all seven criteria as a company driver. And as an owner operator, lease purchase, we there's there's five criteria. And Jamie Beam, Michael Patello, Michael Brown, Curtis Carson Sr., Jesse Carter, Anthony Clayton, today Regional Dowdy, uh, Roxane Jean, Charles Gann, Ch uh, George Grimes, Damian Guthrie, Cody Hager, J James Haynes, Cynthia Hughes, Tavarius Ike, Ladarius Jackson, Ryan Layett, Shane Lund, uh, Brett McCray, Telly Montanez, Matthew Nearling, Joseph Paris, Jeff Paul, Joseph Trahan Jr., Hans Wackel, Victor Walker, and Edward Walker Sr. all received perfect scores as a, an owner-operator release purchase order. There, that's a lot of perfect scores, you guys. And it isn't an easy task. These are bonuses. These are definitely earned. They're not something that you can count on every single month. They're not. They're something that you work for all the time. And um, again, over 200 company drivers, 57 owner-operator lease purchase drivers between the two of them. You know, we we paid out 49,000, um, 40 over, actually, closer to, closer to 50,000 um, just in the scorecard bonus. And then the safety bonus, oh man, I don't even know I should have counted. I should have counted because I don't even know how many of our company drivers and, and owner operators had perfect scores in the safety. A perfect score is zero in safety. I know it's like total opposite of the scorecard, but it's zero. And um, we had 252 company drivers earn a perfect score. Remember how I said we have like 680 drivers? Yeah, it's a third of the drivers. Yeah, um, close to push in half, but yeah, a third of the drivers. And that is, on average, they, they average about $78 for uh, the safety bonus on the company side. About 30, well, about 37 owner operator lease purchase drivers averaged about $92 a piece on the safety bonus. So again, looking at the, the bonuses here, we had over 19,000, just shy of 20,000 paid out on the company side for the safety bonus alone, just for the safety bonus and about 3,400, a little more than that, on the owner-operator side. So really, between the two, we were right around, yeah, we, we were right around 3,500, um, 3,500, 2,500, uh, 25,000, excuse me, for the bonus. That's what happens when you try and let me do math <laughs> in my head. <laughs> so it, pretty impressive, about 56,000. On the company side between the scorecard bonuses and the safety bonus and yeah and about 17 little over 17,000 on the owner operator lease purchase side lots of perfect scores you guys on both the company side and the owner operator side when it comes to 
of the the safety bonus stuff. It was impressive. Uh, and I hope you guys, if you see any of them, please give them a round of applause. We do post all the names on our Facebook page, so please make sure that you, you recognize them. Yeah, pretty big deal, I tell you what. All right, let's answer some of your questions on these available positions. We do have our over the road refrigerated. We have our over the road flatbed division. Now we do require that you have six months of experience in order to come aboard and to avoid training. You'll still have the three days of orientation, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We take care of your hotel, we take care of your meals, we take care of your rental car to get you here. We do have the, um, let's see, we do have both the hair follicle and the urinalysis for the drug and alcohol uh, before you get here. We also have a physical before you get here. Now, sometimes if you have a recent physical, sometimes we can use that, but we'll have to have the long form in order to sign off on that. And then we have the online orientation as well. You'll have that ahead of time. We do have a repayment agreement that you'll see on the online orientation that follows the expectation form. So the expectation form will break down all of the details of the position that you're applying for. This is your position, not the randomness. Um, so it'll have all of the details miles that you can expect, pay, rate of pay that you can expect, the running areas, uh, the equipment, you know, all that kind of stuff will be included in that expectation form. And the repayment agreement is just recognizing that, hey, Decker fronted all this money for me to get me here, to get me started. They made that investment. If I'm to leave within the first six months, I could be responsible for a portion of this. But every month we knock a hundred bucks off and by the end of the six months, it's a wash. We, It's gone as it is. So um, but we do have that to recognize um, within the online orientation. So you'll have that to sign uh, to move forward. And then when you come into orientation, you'll receive a workbook. We call it our, work, our workbook, but actually it is a manual. It is a very handy manual to have. It has all of the communication, um, different types or different telephone numbers for the location terminals, it also has um, management, telephone list, telephone directory, your driver manager. Um, it will have details like the maps for each terminal. When you, where do you park? Where do you park when you have a trailer that needs repair or your truck needs repair? You know, so it, it has the parking map for you, which can be quite helpful. Um, and so we have all of that as well. And then we also have. Uh, in that workbook, a lot of troubleshooting tips and reminders from the maintenance department. That's awesome. They took the time to do that. And then we also have, um, what else am I missing? There's a lot in there. Um, oh, a few examples of your settlement, which is nice because, you know, when we we're talking about having that art ambassador, it's nice to see a settlement because then you kind of know how it breaks down. We pay on all dispatch miles loaded and empty. So you'll have a breakdown of loaded miles and then you'll have per diem because we pay per diem on all. So you have loaded miles per diem and then you'll have, um, what else do you have? You have loaded miles per diem and then you'll have the empty miles with the per diem and then it'll be at the bottom. It'll have the total. So that way it's all situated for you. Cool. Um, but that's all in the workbook. <laughs> it's a manual. That's what I call it. And I just was given a heads up. I want to double check on this because I thought I just saw an available position. We have, right now, we have a Cargill we, we have our home daily position out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. So if you live in Fort Dodge or within a 25 mile radius of Fort Dodge, we do have an available position that can get you home daily. There's just one spot. looks like it just opened up a moment ago. Um, it's 11 days on, three days off, or you can go two on, two off, three on, three off. Uh, you have either or op for options. You can do either one, but it starts at 8 a.m. And it's roughly a... Um, it's roughly an eight hour shift because you're going from Fort Dodge, Iowa to Blair, Nebraska and back. 
and that is in a day cab. And that one is slip seating, so that is different than any of our other positions, but it is slip seating. Um, but one position, 8 a.m. start, 11 on, 3 off. You can do that rotation, or you can do 2 days on, 2 days off, 3 days on, 3 days off. Um, yeah, all of those. Cool, so if you have questions on that specific position, or if you want to speak to a recruiter so you can kind of get the ball rolling for it, this number, where's the number? This number that's right here on the screen, 877-433-2537. That's the number to get a hold of the recruiting department and they'll be able to answer your questions on that. Cool? All right. All right, and remember your, when it comes to the other positions, the over-the-road refrigerated, the over-the-road flatbed division, we have Midwest flatbed division and we have our regional refrigerated division as well. Our flatbed division out of the Midwest, that it pays $14.50 a week um, in certain areas. Again, speak to our recruiter right now. We have an $8,000 sign-on bonus. That will not last long because that is only available for the first couple of uh, professional drivers who start on that one. It's $14.50 a week. It's home weekly. It's just in a designated hiring area. So, And because that's where a lot of that freight is. So that $14.50 is the minimum pay, meaning you're available for dispatch at least five days out of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You um, have no load refusals, no driver service failures, so no late loads, no CSA violations for the week, no preventable accidents for the week, and you get your paperwork in on time. Those are the requirements. Simple as that, but um, they, are, they are there. So again, if you have questions, please reach out, and most specifically if you have questions on your hiring area, reach out to a recruiter, 877-433-2537. They will answer your questions. Benefits start after 60 days. Oh, the sign-on bonus is $8,000. Did I say that? $8,000 paid out within that first year. And that is only for experienced drivers and for the Midwest flatbed division that pays $1,450. That's it. Oh, and we have an over the road, but that's it. Otherwise, it's a $2,000 sign-on bonus, but still for experienced drivers only. Cool. All right. Well, we look forward to visiting with you and getting with you on some of the available positions. I guess I will visit with you soon. If you have questions, reach out to us, 877-433-2537. We'll be seeing you um, later today on on TikTok too, answering questions. So join me then.